Hello YouTubers, Sonic Ox here. Today is uh, January 21st, 2023. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today's video is a little different. Uh, I was talking to a buddy and we were talking about everyday carry items like pocket knives and pens and Zippo lighters came up, so I thought I'd make a video on my small collection. This is my favorite one. It's a, a Zippo from Springfield Armory. I really like their 1911 pistols, uh, and their uh, Zippo's kind of cool too. <coughs> That insert, you might have noticed, is not a Zippo. It's actually made by Zorro, which is a Chinese company. But I like this insert because it's got a metal bottom with a rubber gasket. And there's a rubber gasket you can see on that door that you can fill the fuel so that combined with the wick cap on top really cuts down on the fuel evaporation i'm not a smoker but i like uh these zippo lighters i think that they're elegant in the simplicity of their design and they often have uh <clears throat> really cool artwork on them so I I kind of collect them I get them uh, mainly in my travels if I see one I like I'll pick it up it's not a terribly expensive hobby uh, most of these Zippos are between 20 and 30 dollars uh, and they usually come with this kind of insert that's your standard Zippo insert which is a stamped steel and then I think they plate them with uh, nickel or chrome uh, and I like them they, they, they work really well but this is the Zorro insert and uh, I actually like these better. I think they're built a little better. They're stronger. I think that the I think the brass ones are solid brass, uh, so that you know they they don't or they wear a little better in and out of the cases. Anyway, this is another Zippo. I got this actually on board the USS Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier. Uh, I'm retired now, but my old job gave me access to some of our country's greatest warships. I was able to tour the Stennis and the Reagan, uh, the Midway, but anybody can do that because it's just a, uh, it's a museum now. It's been decommissioned and it sits in the bay over in San Diego and you can, you can uh, tour it as a museum. And that's where I got that one. I like these chrome ones, but they really show fingerprints. You have to keep them clean. This one is a street chrome, just a plain case. I got that one at Walmart just the other day for like 10 bucks. Uh, but I have one of Zippo's new butane soft flame <clears throat> inserts in it and I like them they uh, obviously keep fuel a lot better than the fluid lighters the, they call them gasoline lighters um, to each their own uh, there's there's good and bad but uh, I like them um, it doesn't fit as snug as I want it inside the case so I use my little rubber glove trick I'm in the habit of cutting a little square out of a rubber glove, nitrile glove, and putting them in uh, 
zippos between the insert and the case and on the on the fluid lighters it cuts down on evaporation and uh, on any lighter it uh, takes the play out of the insert and the case makes them fit a little more snugly uh, this one I got as a gift and uh, I call this one a Franken Zippo because I uh, handmade that or I turned that insert into a pipe insert I just drilled a hole in it and then I put some uh, pipe hanger what they call uh, plumber's tape uh, fashioned a little cap for it this one's a thin version it's a Zippo that I got at the Jack Daniels distillery I was touring it and they had these for sale I'm not real fond of the thin version they don't hold a lot of fuel and they're kinda delicate for my taste but it's cool this one I think was my first ever maybe uh, maybe not but uh, it's got the Harley Davidson emblem I have that same emblem on my motorcycle jacket so that's what I like about that one this is another Harley design but these are just uh, stickers on top of a on top of a black I think that's what they call that black crackle uh, coating that they put on the lighter. I like the coating but I don't like the stickers. That's the same one with the Fender guitar design. Uh, I like that and I really like the black lighters but again I'm not fond of stickers. If you carry it around you'll wear that sticker off in a few months. Same with this one although it's a little better done. It actually has uh, some texture to it that's like a football. That's kind of a cool lighter. That was a gift also. I like the texture on it. This one is actually not a Zippo brand. It's some other Chinese uh, knockoff. Uh, but I like this one. It was given to me by a Vietnam vet uh, I'm not sure where he got it but uh, he didn't want it and he knows I like these lighters <clears throat> and it's cool to support the veterans the POWMIA there's another Chinese one this is a little higher quality than the last one still not up to snuff as a Zippo this one had a stupid sticker on it and uh, I took it off and so it's just all chrome and this is actually a pretty good lighter with my rubber glove trick the fuel lasts quite a long time uh, here's one that's just a promotional item I like the look of the case but they aren't very high quality at all uh, the inserts kinda interesting it's like a pipe insert and it's got a, a butane uh, I can't remember who makes it Z pipe or something like that but it actually turns out to be a pretty good insert uh, I have another one the same thing it's just a promotional lighter I like the look of the case and uh, the inserts pretty good although on this one uh, the flame has gotten small even at full blast on the setting and with new uh, butane in it it's still small I'm gonna have to see if I can fix that uh, here's my current favorite this is a this is also a Zorro uh, and this one is their 912 model and I really like the machined hinges um, they make that case out of a solid piece of brass and they uh, uh, machine out you know they use a milling machine and take out the brass on the inside and uh, uh, 
uh, they machine in the hinges. They're really, really strong. And uh, I really like the design. They're heavy. They're super durable. Now, I, I believe that, the, that they ripped off this design, actually, from uh, Carson uh, Company in the U.S. that was basically just a guy in his garage that that made this design but his company's out of business and to get one of those Carson War Armor uh, lighters you, you gotta get them off of eBay and stuff and they're like 150 bucks or whatever so I, I like the Chinese knockoff they do a really good job uh, and they're the only ones to my knowledge producing them right now so they're machined out of a solid piece of brass and they have a a groove in the top of the case that you can put an o-ring in uh, so the the case seals and uh, the fuel lasts in these forever gosh I think if you just leave it sitting there it'll go a couple months uh, without evaporating and that's a Zorro insert in there too but these are really really nice and they're like between twenty and thirty dollars uh, but here's the obligatory uh, tricks uh, but those Zoros are really good for tricks if you're constantly messing with it the uh, hinges are really strong but they are heavy so they feel different in your hand but I really like them I'll probably get another couple of them I hate using a knockoff, but you know, if they're the only ones producing them, producing them, you know, that, that's where you get them. And the designs are cool. So that's my that's my small collection. Uh, they all mean something to me. I usually got them either as a gift or in my travels, and I like them. So y'all have a good. Uh, evening or day or wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Thanks.